be overhauling a clarinet today. But before we get started, I thought I would explain some of the basic tools needed in a clarinet overhaul. First of all, we've got a scraper. This is for removing the key corks from your clarinet. This is a tenon cork scraper, which comes in quite handy. Uh, the, there's two different sizes. Uh, there's a smaller end and a larger end for your clarinet. Now this is a needle spring. Uh, actually, this is a needle spring. And this is an actual needle. If you don't have any uh, extra needle springs to use, you can just use a basic needle. I use uh, this for removing the pads from the clarinet itself. Uh, screwdriver. Um, we also offer a set of smaller screwdrivers on our website along with the pad slicks. This is a pad slick. Now this is also a pad slick. This one we made ourselves uh, several, several years ago. I like mine bent and you'll see why later on. Now if you purchase one and want to bend your own, uh, it's, it's easily done. Uh, you can purchase these from banderpair.com. Now this is a reamer. Uh, we use this sometimes when a, a screw doesn't want to go back into a clarinet uh, key. Uh, sometimes it may have a, a little burr on it. You can ream out the inside of that key and usually the screw will go right back in. Now this is a needle nose pliers. I use this for um, removing the screws, putting them back in. This is a professional um, feeler. Uh, I use this uh, quite often. Um, every pad that I put back on after I've replaced the pads, I, I use this to make sure I've got a proper seal. And I'll demonstrate that later on during the overhaul. This is a duckbill pliers also used for um, straightening keys, bending keys. This is a needle spring. This is for uh, pushing or, or uh, you can pull the, key, the spring back onto the key itself. This is a hole punch. There are times when you may need a hole punch for the number seven key or the top G sharp key. Uh, also sometimes you you'll need it for the uh, A key on the upper section. This is a striker for our heat source. And our heat source, we just use a basic uh, little propane tank that we bought at our local hardware store. You're going to need a straight edge of some sort and also a screw board. This one we made several years ago. It has 13, 13 holes both top and bottom. You're also going to need some straight edge razor blades which you can purchase at your local hardware store. Now that we've got the basic tools down, let's get started on the clarinet. 